So Democrat House impeachment manager Hakeem Jeffries has been going on along with the rest of the House impeachment managers about how Russian interference and getting dirt from foreign sources to help an election is a huge problem. And is our people going to decide the 2020 election or will it be Russian interference? This narrative has been going on for over three years. Finally, someone asks someone like Jeffries the relevant question. If this foreign interference is bad, getting dirt from foreign uh, foreign actors is a bad thing, then why wouldn't this equally fall under the DNC and the Hillary camp that paid a foreign spy named Christopher Steele to get dirt on Trump from Kremlin officials? Now remember, this dirt was so effective that it's still believed by many Democrats today, including people like Adam Schiff that continue to push the allegations, therefore, in the Steele dossier, which has been debunked by Horowitz and been debunked by Mueller. But not only that, it was used by our FBI, and 17 times they broke protocol to fraudulently get FISA warrants to spy on people connected to Trump's campaign and thereby be able to spy on Trump's campaign itself. In fact, two of those warrants have been found to have been declared without merit, which means they were illegal to get to spy on then-President Trump and his team. Jeffries argued that that was okay. It was okay to get that Kremlin source dirt against Trump. Now, they've spent three years telling you, oh, any Russian dirt. If Trump tried to get Russian dirt on Hillary, my goodness, that's terrible. Oh, that's reason to impeach him. That's getting foreign interference into our election. That's been repeated verbatim in these impeachment hearings from people like Adam Schiff. And so finally, when it says, why was it okay for the Democrats not to only try to get dirt, but actually do it? Do you know what Hakeem Jeffries' argument was? It was okay because we paid for it. This is the insane nonsense that we see from the Democrats. If you watch my channel, I talk about this all the time. Everything they accuse the other side of are things that they've actually done themselves. And in fact, many times they've done it in a more blatant way. So, for example, we don't have any information whatsoever of Trump's team successfully getting dirt from Russians uh, against the Democrats or against Hillary. None. There were claims that they attempted. We had to have a three-year-long investigation based on that. We had to raid lawyers' offices in the middle of the night, etc. But we know for a fact that the DNC and Hillary paid a foreign spy, Christopher Steele, a British spy, to get dirt from Kremlin agents that was then corruptly used by the FBI to spy on Trump's campaign. We know that that happened, yet no one in Washington seems to think this is a problem. And now we get the reason. It's okay to get dirt from foreign people as long as you pay for it. So what Hakeem Jeffries is saying is if Trump gets out his checkbook and writes a check to the president of the Ukraine, it's perfectly fine then for Trump to ask the president of the Ukraine to investigate the Bidens. As long as Trump's personally paying for it, that's okay. Notice a pattern here, remember? They say Trump abused power or he obstructed Congress, right? That's the second impeachment charge. His obstruction of Congress was because instead of just handing over evidence or handing over witnesses, he wanted to go through the courts to see if he had to. They claim, even though Obama did that all the time, they claim this is obstruction of Congress. Meanwhile, Hillary Clinton had emails subpoenaed, 30,000 emails, which she then deleted. They said that's not a problem. So let's look at the standard. If Trump, instead of going to the courts to fight handing over evidence would have just destroyed the evidence, then the Democrats would be okay with it. If Trump, instead of just asking Zelensky if he would look into corruption, would have personally paid Zelensky, then the Democrats would have been okay with it. It just goes to show the nonsense. They're not concerned about foreign election interference. The Mueller report and the Horowitz report both debunk the allegations in the Steele dossier that's still being pushed forth to this day in the impeachment by Adam Schiff. The McCarthyism, the warmongering towards Russia is reaching peak insanity levels. And meanwhile, while they accuse anyone that disagrees with them, anyone who wants to look at legitimate things like Ukrainian election interference that benefited Hillary, they accuse anyone who wants to look into that legitimate interference of being a Russian agent. At the exact same time they do that, they know their side legitimately paid to get dirt from Kremlin officials about Donald Trump that ended up all being lies. So it just shows the hypocrisy. 
The Democrats, only the only way they get away with it is because the media is just a propaganda mouthpiece for them and the establishment. Otherwise, the American people would be like, wait a minute. So you're saying the worst thing you could do is try to get dirt in your opponents from Russians. And that means you should be removed from office and possibly tried for crimes. But if you pay for that dirt from Russians, then it's totally legit. No problem at all. It's abject nonsense and anyone who's paying attention understands it. Hey, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. There'll be a link in the description where you can follow me on BitChute and Twitter. And you can support me on PayPal and Patreon if you'd like. My normally scheduled live stream today at noon is going to be pushed back to 2 p.m. Eastern. And at noon Eastern, I'll be doing a live stream about impeachment on my friend, the Patriot Hours channel. So thanks, everyone, and have a good one.